Richard Fitzwilliams thinks more appearances by the, uh, by the Princess of Wales, Princess Kate might, might very well be on the horizon. So uh, the Sun wrote, Princess Kate dazzled at Wimbledon as cheering fans welcomed her with a well-deserved uh, standing ovation, a royal expert says royal commenta commentator, commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said he thought we'd be seeing more of Kate from now on. So, but uh, people think probably not. And uh, some people, you know, regular people, they feel awkward that uh, appearance of Kate at the Wimbledon uh, gets a, a very long standing ovation. And, and I said that, uh, you know, I saw Tom Cruise and uh, Cumberbatch and uh, Julia Roberts, they were so excited. They were, Tom Cruise was like, he has never seen any famous people in their lives. It's like uh, a big fan, you know. And uh, so, like uh, Murad Murali was talking a, a few days ago, Kate was being accused of being racist to uh, Meghan's and Harry's son, uh, Prince Archie, which is her. Uh, her uh, what nephew her uh, nephew-in-law which is her husband's nephew and uh you know and then he had she had cancer maybe maybe not you know we, we don't really know because she didn't really share what kind of cancer she has and then uh disappearing for six months and then two days appearances and people going crazy look at charlotte she was so proud of her mom and people going crazy, you know, for uh, a, a royal coming out for second days of work in six months where she is uh, taking care of hand and foot and people went crazy. The whole stadium give her standing ovation. But the rating is uh, very low. That's really odd, you know, maybe only uh, the people in the stadium in the at, at the Wimbledon is uh, you know uh, love love Kate and respecting Kate and uh, the regular people because they know they have to work every day whether you are sick or not whether you on chemo or not uh, because they have bills to pay and uh, you know Kate Princess of Wales she has uh, 60 staff I understand you know helping her hand and foot and uh, she doesn't have to do anything and uh, so she she comes to work to the, the second day of the whole six months and people went crazy give her a long standing ovation so it says here and there is no question that Wimbledon is very close to her heart as uh, is the game of tennis it it was also a very significant moment when she had a standing ovation because this show how people have cared so deeply for her during these very difficult months when she's after a major abdominal uh, operation undertaking preventive chemotherapy which is so daunting so uh, <clears throat> as i said you know she has a big standing ovation you know she was so excited thrill she, she enjoyed that you know of course who, who, who doesn't who wouldn't enjoy that kind of uh, you know reception standing ovation for a long time from the hall uh, arena or stadium that she you know at uh, Wimbledon and but it didn't translate to the rating the rating is very low is you know, they said it's uh, three million people uh, less that uh, the rating you know for for that uh, final and uh, it's really odd <clears throat> As I said, probably, you know, the rich people, they love her, but the regular people, probably not. And uh, they have to work, you know, they still have to do their job. And uh, Kate getting praised for coming to Wimbledon, where other people, you know, going to work every day, whether you, you are in chemotherapy therapy or not. So people feel, some normal people, you know, like me, like regular people, feel odd because uh, she's getting praised for coming for showing up at the game it's not like she has to do uh, uh, office work or you know doing something or cooking or something but uh, 
people at the stadium, they love her. I think if you were addressed that purple, this is uh, the uh, the sun continues uh, uh, riding here. Uh, as stunning as that, and carry uh, carry it off with the poise and beauty that only she can. She knew where the main attention, apart from the tennis court, of course, was going to be the added. Well, what was her name? Uh, Taylor Swift. You know, she got standing ovation with a uh, hundred and. Uh, 10,000 people in 115,000 in Sydney, Australia. So, uh, and she is working for what three and a half hours running up and down, singing and playing music, and that's well deserved standing ovation. But when you come to work for one day and giving standing ovation, I don't know about that. This is my opinion. You have your, you can have your own opinion, you know. This is my opinion. So looking ahead, Mr. Fitzwilliam also believed more appearances might very well be on the uh, horizon. It is very difficult time for the royal family with two senior royals including the king battle cancer and this is undoubtedly a step forward, a step forward that makes people happy that everyone could welcome and wear a standing ovation was well deserved, he added. <clears throat> so, uh, but if he, she is well received by public is only that people in there probably star struck stars star struck struck you know and uh she's a royal she's beautiful she is thin she's very thin she is tall and she comes to this you know people didn't expect that you know in in months and all of a sudden she appeared in this purple dress she's gorgeous and of course they they you know they excited about that even even the star themselves you know julia roberts and tom cruise and uh uh cumberbatch i can i i lost what's his first name but they're they also excited the whole stadium ex excited for her appearance one day appearance so and uh let me see what kaiser has to say about that don't get me wrong, this is what Kaiser from Selbachi wrote, uh, so uh, check out her website, selbachi.com. Uh, I was surprised by the standing ovation for Kate as well as I genuinely think that her Wimbledon appearance was a net position for Kate and for the monarchy. Average people haven't paid close attention to all the completely bonkers uh, crap that gone down this year in the uh, in, in the royal world and all they know is what the palace tells them which is a win for the palace and for kate now kate will disappear for months again and they'll say well the process <laughs> so uh but will will this conversation change uh, uh in the fall i wonder but i think she will appear on her uh, Christmas Carol, she will play piano probably, you know, for her Christmas Carol. The other appearance she will be probably uh, during the Christmas walkabout. And that's probably two more appearances. Uh, my prediction, she will have four appearances for the whole year. And uh, so she, she's down two and she's going to have another two for Christmas and Christmas Carol. That's it. But uh, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, Fitz, Fitz, uh, Richard Fitz, Fitzwilliams thinks she'll be uh, coming out more often because the uh, the reception of the people was uh, was big, was uh, people excited about her appearance. So there you have it. Uh, see what happens. See if uh, she really appear more, and see, we'll see if she's just gonna come out during the Christmas and. Christmas Carol.